This is a video to explain how you would input comments for your report cards if you are a kindergarten teacher. First of all, if you work at multiple schools, you may need to click on your school to change your school. If you only work at one school, um, you will only see your name appear here. Over here on the side, we want to click on the light blue gradebook ribbon and then JKSK report card. It'll bring you to this screen. If you are on the initial observations reporting period, you would change that to P. The next step would be to choose your French program. As you can see here, you can change it here. So if I had an um, immersion class, I'm going to click there, check the box, and a pop-up appears and say OK. So that has been applied to all my students. I don't need to change that again. Down here in the comments section for religious and family life education, you can type in your comments. And you can see that the character count is going down and that you get a green disappearing bar. That is the sign that your comment is being saved. If you don't get that green disappearing bar, you may need to just click off the screen somewhere so it appears. So you can see that you get 500 characters for the religion comment. And then down here in your initial observations, as you start to type, you can notice that it is counting down from 2000. So you do get 2000 characters uh, for this initial observation box. Again, I'm gonna click off the box so I get my green saving ribbon appearing. If the student is modified on an IEP, I can check the box here or if they had um, ESL modifications, then we can also check it there. Please confirm with your principal regarding these two areas. Okay, so I have put in my comments. The next thing that I want to do is to preview it in the report card to make sure everything looks okay. So what I'm going to do is click on report card preview, select my current student. If you're finished all your, your class, you may want to select all students and do this all at once. A preview will appear. If you do not get a preview pop up, not to worry, a section option down here, um, print, you can do this as well. The main thing though is to check this top information to make sure it's correct. If it is not correct, um, like for example, the students are in immersion, they are in junior kindergarten, uh, the absences, the student number, just make sure that those things are correct. And if there are any errors, please report them in Help Desk Ticket. So here are my comments. I wanna make sure that they're fitting inside the box and that if I did check any ESL or IEP boxes that they are also checked. And I'm just gonna go scrolling down right here. I do see the principal signature. That's what we are looking for. If your principal um, has signed off on your report cards, as well as right here, this will be left blank um, or may have your name depending on uh, the, the program. So also your early childhood educator's name will appear right here. If this don does not appear for you, you can click on the print button and download it to your device and then click on your save PDF file and then you get the same view. So just make sure all the information is correct. And I go back to the report card. And just a couple more things here. You, If you have, uh, if you would like to switch to the next student, just click on the next student's name. All your students' names should appear here. So I'd click to the next student and then um, make sure that everything is correct and repeat the same process. If you had any inactive students, for example, if those students have moved schools but you do need to put in their initial observations, you wanna make sure that you show inactive and then those uh, missing students who moved would appear in this list. You do not need to sign off as a kindergarten teacher. When you are finished your report card comments, please email your principal to let them know that you are finished.